Today I want to read to you Ephesians chapter 2 verses 17 and 18. So he, and that he is of course Jesus, so he came and proclaimed peace to you who were far off, that means the Gentiles, and peace to those who were near, those who were his fellow Jews. For through him both of us have access in one spirit to the Father. Uh, again, here we have a mention of the Trinity, if you will, without using that word. It's Jesus who allows us to be at peace with other people and with God. And this is all thanks to the one Spirit who gives us access to the one Father. So we have Father, Son, and Spirit, if you will, right here in verses 17 and 18. Jesus came to proclaim peace, Ephesians says. And peace in the Old Testament is a very significant word. Uh, some of you know that that word is shalom. Uh, peace in the New Testament is a word, irene. Uh, but peace is a significant biblical concept. Uh, peace between people, peace within an individual, peace between an individual and God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. In Ephesians, much of the peace is focused on peace between Jews and Gentiles, between people who have been divided, who have shared hostility, suspicion, and yet Jesus comes and proclaims peace to both groups and invites both groups through the one Spirit to be connected to God and to each other. I think one of the real challenges of our age and our time in which we are living um, is that we tend to try to argue other people who we disagree with or who have a different perspective. We try to argue them into seeing things our way. How successful do you tend to be doing that? Uh, I, I see people um, having you know, conversations, if you can call them that, on Facebook or even Twitter and, uh, you know, having an argument with somebody on social media in any form, it, it's almost like someone who lives in a city opening up their window and yelling out to the, the world, this is what I think and this is what that person said. And then the person who replies, it's like opening their window and they're in a different city. They're not even in the same building, much less the same block. And then they yell out stuff to people who agree with them and and nothing gets accomplished, no one learns. And, and one of the things I think we all need to work on uh, is trying to understand the feelings behind what people say and believe. We need to try to empathize, help me understand why you feel that way. Uh, and perhaps we have a little better chance of finding at least a little more connection or understanding. Uh, we may not find common ground of agreement but we might be able to be a little more understanding and sympathetic uh, if we came at things with a perspective of peace, as Jesus did. He proclaimed peace to those who were far off and peace to those who were near. And I just wonder if we as Christians adopted a little bit more of Jesus' attitude of coming at people not with an attitude of argument or hostility or suspicion or fear or anger, but instead from a position of peace and empathy and wanting to understand if that might just help us in our relationships with those close to us and relationships with those with whom we may have profound disagreements. Peace is a biblical word.